Howdy, my name is Chase Crochet. I'm part of the deep group here at Texas A&M, and this is the optical trap display, aka the levitator and aka the Star Wars hologram. Essentially what this does is this laser is going to go through this lens, and this lens is going to focus down this laser to a little focal point, and in that focal point, we're going to put a little particle. And as we optimize this setup, that particle is going to stay in that trap for longer and longer and longer. That's a result of the fact that this lens is actually imperfect. So when the laser hits the lens, it goes down to a bunch of tiny little focal points due to spherical aberration. That spherical aberration creates pockets of dark surrounded by pockets of light. And in those pockets of dark is where we put our particle. That particle will sit in there and then as it gets too close to the walls and tries to escape, those pockets of light will push it right back into the center, trapping it in place in the air. So how does this become a Star Wars hologram. Now, if you imagine this laser beam against the wall, that's one point of light on a wall. If you spin it really, really fast, right, that looks like a solid circle. That's called persistence of vision. Now, if you're able to do that with this setup right here, you can create images in the air with that particle and that light. And you can start to create your Star Wars holograms, Princess Leia coming out of R2-D2, asking Obi-Wan Kenobi for help. So if you're interested in this or want to see more demos like this, come to the Physics and Engineering Festival. My deep group and a bunch of other cool deep groups have tons of demos like this.